Hi, in this video we're looking at how to do a basic two column layout in the Enfold or Avia Builder for WordPress. My name's Dan and this is WP Updo. As you can see here, we're back with our favorite client, Indulge Apartments, and we've got uh, an existing page here which we need to replicate. And you can see there, it's a responsive two column standard layout with a small image and a little bit of extra information about a venue that is then fed back into their explore page, which automatically creates a grid with all of the different entries that we've got there. Okay, so first things first, we need to get ourselves an image and some text. Now I've already written some text about the subject we're doing today, which is the Murray River. And uh, I've just popped that in a Word document for the moment. And I've found on Pixabay a lovely image of the Murray River. Now I've used Pixabay, you can also use Pexels for this one. I've chosen this because it is royalty free, commercially licensed, free stock imaging. Don't just grab something off Google image search. You can get pinged, fined, or you could get uh, punitive damages sent through by, uh, by image owners. So always use something that is either licensed to you, you've taken, or is from one of these royalty free sites. So let's start by downloading, free download, Pick a resolution, we're just going to go with a small one in this case, and then hit download. Do the capture if you need to, download again. There we go, and that's come down. I'm just going to drag that onto the desktop. There we go. And using the GIMP application, the GNU image manipulation application, which is a free image service, which is kind of like a, an open source version of almost Photoshop, really allows us to resize this very, very easily. So if this will install on Linux, Mac, and Window. So once we've got that open, drag that in, click on the image option, and then scale. We want to scale that down because this is only a very, very small area that we're going to be covering, down to 800 pixels. Tab through to get that to scale in, then click the scale button, and job start. Once we've done that, file, and export as. Now I understand I'm going quickly here, so feel free to pause and go back. I am moving through this as quickly as possible. Okay, so that's up. Let's give this a meaningful name. And then make sure we're using the .jpg extension. And the great thing about this particular program is that it recognizes that that's a JPEG and will automatically just deal with the formatting for you. Hit the export button. Set the quality to roughly 85. It can be a little more if you like, but I think 85 is a reasonable compromise. Uncheck all of the checkboxes here, and then hit the export button. Right, and you can see that's popped up a new one there. And that's 41 kilobytes versus the original size, which was 137. So that's great. That's web optimized and ready to go. Next thing we can do is close out GIMP. Discard any changes. And we can close that tab. You can see here I've already logged in to Indulge Apartments. So let's head to the dashboard. Just mouse over the name of your site, hit dashboard. And once the dashboard is loaded, go to posts and add new. Right. So the next thing we need to do is pop a title in. So in this case, we're showcasing the Murray River. Spell correctly. All right, that will do its thing for a few moments. And let's just go drag that over here so you can see the, uh, the rest of the page. Okay, so once we've got the, the title in, you'll see it will automatically generate a slug for you, but it will make it uncategorized. So we need to give it a category. Now, in this case, the explore page for this particular site is in the activity section. So click on the category that makes sense. And if you don't have an appropriate category, or this is for a new uh, blog list or blog role, just click on Add New, enter the name of the category, and hit Add New again. But in this case, yep, activities will do the job quite nicely. The next thing we need to do is click on the Advanced Layout Editor, and this will fire up the, uh, the Avia Builder. Let's just get that up a bit and get rid of that. 
And for the two column layout, this is going to be really, really basic, but uh, we'll start with the heading at the top. So go, let's go full screen there, drag the special heading in, click on it, and then the name of the post, set that to a heading one or a H1 and then set the style to whatever you like here, but for this site we're using the heading style modern left with no subheading. Save that, and you can see that's dropped that in for you. The next thing we need to do is go to layout elements, and the layout for this one is a one-third, two-third. So start by dragging the one-third in, then the two-thirds, and that will create your layout grid. We'll go to media elements for the first element, which is an image, and then drag that into the one third column. Click on the image, click on the image again, then click upload files, and you can either drag that in, or you can click the select files button and you'll get the file dialog. So for us, we'll just pop this in, up it goes. Give it a reasonable title. So triple click and then right click and copy and paste that into the alt text as well. And that helps people who are using screen readers or who might be vision impaired to see what that photo is about. Under attachment display, select full size and then hit insert. And that's all good. We just want to leave these as the default nose and for the styling we just want to leave those as default as well with the center set as the image alignment so that deals with the responsive for us nicely. Hit save. Go back to full screen now. And then into content elements. Next thing we want to do is grab the text block and drag that in there. We'll go and click on that one. Go and grab our Word document from before, select everything in there, and then right click and copy. Drag that off screen, delete everything in here. So I've just used the backspace button. Make sure the kitchen sink, the toolbar, is toggled on so you get this second bar here, and then select paste as text. And what that does is that will strip any additional formatting from Word or Google Documents or whichever browser or word processor that you're pasting from. Right click, there we are, and then paste. All right, now that's gone in as double spaced, so we can just delete the extra spacing there. And you'll notice I'm going all the way back and then hitting enter again, just to make sure that it's doing it correctly and not putting in line breaks instead. All right, so you can see there it's updated the text on the right and you can check the background, or just change the background there to see what it will look like on the different colored backgrounds, depending on your site. So in this case, black background, hit save, scroll all the way down to set the featured image next, select the same image again, hit set featured, and if you're running Yoast SEO or the WordPress SEO plugin, you'll also have the option to fill out some extra information so you can manage how Google sees the site. So click in the meta description, open your Word document from before, and just grab the first paragraph worth of text, copy that, and then paste it into the, there we go, paste that into the meta description, and we want to make sure that that is a green bar. Okay, so that is that one just about done. Hit publish. Okay, and we can see now it's picked up the activities and the Mildura slug. It's given it the correct slug. We now have the correct layout, a featured image, and we have fine-tuned how Google will display this page. So scroll all the way to the top, right-click, open a new tab, and then click Murray River, or sorry, then click on the tab. 
And you can see there, we now have the title up the top, we have the image on the left, we have all of the text on the right. Let's just bring that down so that it's, you can see the image scaling correctly, and it should, there we go. Scale absolutely lovely. For responsive. Now the next thing to do is just check that it has in fact gone into the grid that it was meant to go into. So in this case again, explore. And once that's loaded, scroll down and you can see here, there is our new title. And there is the image that we've just popped in. We'll just click on that to confirm that it's working. And there we go. So thank you very much for hanging around to the end of the video. If you found this helpful, please hit that like button. It really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new to the channel, please click that subscribe and that notification button. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.